What's going on guys? It's your boy John the Liquidator coming back with another video and I'm telling you right now I need a dustpan because Caitlin Clark and Indiana Fever just swept the dinosaurs. For this one here, we gotta go all the way up to Indy. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> My God, bro! From the tip off of the game, Caitlin Clark had venom in her veins, bro. She wasn't playing no games. She went off on Diana Taurasi and the Phoenix Mercury tonight in that first half. She looked it like Jordan. I just gotta keep it real. Caitlin Clark finished the first half with 16 points, five assists, four rebounds, and she was shooting 78 percent. She went off, dog. Now the game did get chippy at times. Brittany Griner was at actually giving a technical foul and guys I'm telling you right now they was straight mad that Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever came and they stood on business at home tonight let's check out some of these incidents from the game roll the footage in this scene right here Kelsey Mitchell and Natasha Cloud kind of got into a heated little argument here and it actually got kind of physical the refs had to stop the game and break it up then we had another situation between Aaliyah Boston and Brittany Griner Roll the footage right now. Right after that scene took place, Brittany Griner was ordered to go to the bench. And while going to the bench, she received a technical foul. Final was 98 to 89, a season high in points for the Fever, led by Caitlin Clark. She finished with 29 points. Kelsey Mitchell had 28 points. Full team contribution. Absurdly good first quarter. Felt like the ladies was ready to go. Now, something that is going to be getting talked about first thing in the morning is the Indiana Fever did blow a 28-point lead, and they nearly lost this game. If it wasn't for Kayla Clark and their starters pulling it off late in that second half, we might be having a whole nother type of video, bro. So as soon as I get done with this one, I'm going to cook up some information to see what exactly happened, how they blew that lead. But I'm telling you right now, it was a defensive breakdown out of this world. Now, Kayla Clark... And Leah Boston and Kelsey Mitchell spoke to reporters immediately after this game. Let's roll the footage right now. Paige with your kind person. I think, you know, me and C squared like the players turn away and that's fast and up tempo. And so I'm going to always align, you know, based on how she's playing and how the game is going. And I don't know, I'm just going to take it in stride because I enjoy it. So I'm with it. <laughs> yeah, I think we've gotten a lot better just like understanding each other as, as we're playing the game, um, looking for each other when each other's hot. Like Kelsey got hot there. Uh, made a few in a row, um, so you're just looking to find her. I think in transition, especially the way she runs the floor with her speed, I've always got my eyes up trying to look to find her, and I think she can tell like when I want her to go back door, when I want her to come cut off the ball or anything like that, and just that chemistry that you get used to playing with one another. It's taken time, but I think we're really starting to get down. Kelsey, what do you think it took for you guys to respond to that third quarter physicality and run for them and still come out uh, on top of this? <laughs> gotta get a little gritty and dirty, obviously. <laughs> uh, Sometimes, you know, passion, having passion for the game, you know, some some moments can just, you know, spike your team up to, you know, go and play well. And, you know, I had a moment myself with T-Cloud and, you know, hats off to her for being a competitor. But I think it kind of helped us, you know, the grit in the game in those third quarters and when teams make runs, it's how you win the game in the WBA. You got to be gritty. You got to be able to get trenchy a little bit. <laughs> go Christine, I'll go James. For both of you, Caitlin, when you weren't here before the game, you talked about your itching to get back into it. Is that what itching looks like, that first quarter? Yeah, it was pretty fun. I think we came out with a lot of energy. It's just, you know, continuing to find a way to sustain that. But at the same time, like, they're a really good team. You know they're not going to go away. It's just finding ways to, you know, limit that. I think we let them go on a run, but then we'd respond. And they'd go on another run, but we got to limit their runs. I think that's where we take our next step. And um, But I'm really proud of us. I thought, you know, there would be times throughout the year where we'd kind of crumble when we gave up a huge lead. What was our biggest lead? 20. 28, yeah, and it got down to one, I think. So, um, yeah, I think there's times where we would have crumbled, but we just kept battling and fighting, and I thought it was a really good win for us. Go James and Alexa. Caitlin, for you, how much better do you think you are like directing traffic at this point 
from the start of the season to this point in the season where you're just kind of, kind of doing, doing it all throughout the game? Yeah, I think you just, when I can get going early, that's when I really settle into the game and feel comfortable. And, um, I think my third, my third quarter wasn't great, but uh, kind of found a way to respond, especially there then. The way we closed the third quarter, I think, was super important going into the fourth. I think we went on a... We went on a little run there. I made a. We were lucky enough. We got a two for one quick, and I made a basket. And then we came down, and got a stop, and then Lou made the three. And I think that just kind of, you know, gave us some fire going into the into the fourth, and we played really good. But um, I think just getting to know my teammates and you know playing with them is just a comfortability. Like it was going to take me a little bit of time to get used to. Like it was hard to adjust. And you know, once I I kind of found my groove so far, it's. We I think we've just been getting better and better. And then what's the balance of playing off the crowd but also staying within yourself in the moment? Because you did it probably like six or seven times tonight. Yeah, I feel like I have good experience with that. I think, you know, that's something I love to do. But at the same time, like, you got to use it, use it to help you. It can't be like a distraction. It can't be something that takes you out of your game. It's just like, let the fans help you. And they're here. They're being loud for us. They're, I thought they were incredible tonight. Um, they thought they were really loud. They were into the game, and you know you gotta you gotta be able to win the ones on your home court, and they certainly help us. Go, Alexa. Kind of following up on that for both of you. I guess we'll start with Caitlin because you just said that. But how important is it to really start that these last 14 games off with a win like that, being able to bounce back, that resiliency, all that? Yeah, I think it's huge. I think it's you know we're trying to do this these last 14 as just one game at a time. Just take it one game at a time, and for us to come out and play. A really, really great game, and honestly, the Mercury played really, really well last night too versus the Sky. So you knew they were going to come in here with a lot of confidence, um, with three people that have won gold medals. Like you know, you're, they're coming in here, their confidence is really high. And I thought we came out in the first quarter and really set the tone. But for us, it's just one game at a time. Every single game is going to be difficult. Um, but I, like I said, I think the ones that we have here at home, and we're lucky enough to have quite a few at home this these last 14 games that we really need to to nail down and win. Go back row on the left, and we'll go to Mike on the left. Yeah, Kaylin and Kelsey, you haven't played at full game speed for a month. I mean, how tough was that? How much of an adjustment was that? I called for a sub six minutes in. <laughs> I mean, I was like, holy cow. I think it was like around seven minutes in, I called for a sub. I was like, I need a quick minute here because we were playing fast, and like, you know, then my defense isn't as good, so it's kind of a liability for my team. So just got to get a second to breathe. So, um, but yeah, I mean, Getting back in game shape has been, I think, pretty easy. I mean, we've been competing really hard in practice and playing versus our guys live. We've had refs come in basically, I think, five to seven different times, and we've been playing live. We've just been scrimmaging, and that's the best way to stay in basketball shape is just play live basketball, but obviously it's going to be really hard to replicate a real game. So it felt good to get back out there. Go Mike, then we go Matt. Uh, earlier you were talking about getting comfortable with each other. I'm curious, Kelsey, from your standpoint, how would you describe the challenge of trying to get acclimated to the kind of passes that Caitlin makes and vice versa for you, Caitlin, getting used to a whole new team? Oh, I don't think it's necessarily a challenge, but you have to adjust. Um, obviously, things are different based on the best, but, you know, she was playing with Iowa and then coming in a transition as a pro. And um, I, would, I think for us, we've got to give her what she needs and be the resource um, and kind of just fill out what she kind of needs us to fill those gaps in. And I always say that, um, C squared is one of those players where her IQ is going to take us a lot of places. And so you just really got to fill in where you fit in as far as like knowing how to read and adjust off her. And, uh, and once you make that adjustment, I think it's obviously it's really good basketball. So. Go Matt, we go Clark. Yeah, Caitlin, at the uh, third quarter buzzer, you had a chance to take that final shot and instead you have to give it to uh, Katie Lou. I don't think it'd take him one at that point and, mm -hmm. and, and she hits it. So what, what was kind of going through your mind there uh, instead of you taking it, you, you're going to let your teammate take that? That she was wide open. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh. She was almost like too open. I was like, shit. Mm. Um, Caitlin, you kind of mentioned it, but what does it do for your confidence, the team's confidence, that you know you guys went 3-0 and against a team that has three Olympic gold medalists? Yeah, I mean, I don't think we really view it like that. I think for us is like, Honestly, I think our one of our biggest wins of the season so far was our first win at Phoenix. I think that really kind of boosted us into how we're playing basketball right now. But that was like our first, I think it was the first time we beat a team over 500, first of all. Um, we felt like a, a very good team win. We were down in that game. We came back. Um, so I think it's just like we have a lot of respect for them and how they play the game and how talented they are. And I think that gave us confidence, and you've seen us just get better and better from that point. And... 
um, you know, being able to beat this team three times, like, you know, that's that's awesome. It's really hard to beat a team once, let alone twice, but three times is really hard to do, especially in this league. We have the last two on Zoom. Go to Rob and we go to Michael. Thank you. Caitlin, I have a question for you about the work you put in the gym and, and the practice facilities and, and all these last few games. I've noticed you've got some muscle growth in these recent games. Hey. How's it been kind of just <laughs> studying my arms? <laughs> yeah, you got, you got some good arms. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think at times, like, yeah, I'm small, but like, I mean, I try to hold my own the best that I can, and it's actually funny, we were, we were playing live the other day, and I was backing down E-Dub, and E-Dub's like, man, I thought I was just going to push you out of the way, but you're a little stronger than I thought, I was like, yeah, E-Dub, like, don't mess with me, like, but I don't know, I think, like, I'm discreetly strong, like, I'm never going to be the strongest person, and I mean, I, I know that. I, I try to, you know, put on some weight, and I've been working hard in the weight room, and obviously there's some limits to that and what I can do, obviously, being in the season. But over the course of the last three weeks or so, I've we've all been going pretty hard in the weight room. I haven't been very happy with our strength coach. I've been very sore, and it's been hard to shoot some days. But I think it's definitely going to help me down the stretch to have that extra little muscle. Uh, whether I actually have it or not, we don't really know. Um, but... Yeah, that's definitely something I'll, I'll continue to focus on. And but more than anything, like I never want to lose my speed. I like I like being fast and sprinting. Last thank one, Mike. Yeah, thank you. Um, Caitlin, it seems like the part of your game that really just translated immediately. Obviously, is your court vision. I wonder how much you feel like you've even grown um, in the course of this season in terms of, of being able to to dissect a game. Yeah, I think the biggest way I've grown is I, th I feel like I've always been able to like kind of understand the court well and see see something happen before it happens. But I think it's just been developing the chemistry with my teammates where they can see it and be on the same page. And like I said earlier, I think that just takes time. Um, and now you see people, you know, cutting in and fast breaks or whether well, Kels is back, back, making a backdoor cut. I think it's just having that chemistry that's unspoken. Like, I'm not telling them the, to do that, but they can just kind of read my eyes and understand and we're all on the same page at the same time. So... Um, that's something I take a lot of pride in. I think being able to pass um, and be able to, you know, finish well around the rim and shoot the ball. That was Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell speaking to reporters immediately after this game. But just like I told you guys early on, make sure you keep them bells on because I'm coming right back with some Christy Sides updates as well. But guys, get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. And like always, until next time, dog, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace. Shake the haters.